Previously on Midnight Movie Review. Cap was awesome! Amazing Spider-Man 2 sucked. Midnight Movie Review. I think when a lot of people consider Godzilla, they think of one of two things. Either the movies in the 60s and 70s where big guys in rubber suits were hitting each other and kind of throwing each other around cheap looking sets or they think of the Roland Emmerich uh, movie from the 90s which really sucked. I think a lot of people forget that the original Godzilla was a straight up disaster movie or almost a horror movie at that and I think one of the best things about the new Godzilla is that it does a great job of capturing that old spirit and it's a lot of fun. It's a roller coaster ride. It has a lot of reverence to the old material, and it takes itself very seriously. I think we all got that from the tone of the trailers, and it continues through the movie. It's really good. It's gripping. And in the end, it is a lot of fun. It is a great movie. It's not perfect. There are some flaws. There are a couple of plot holes that uh, you may notice. We won't get into those, though. Uh, what we're going to focus on, though, is how good the actors actually are. Considering that a lot of times in disaster movies, you get direction that results in this. It's refreshing to see some well-directed actors going and reacting naturally to the horror that's happening around them. It's very refreshing and very cool. And it definitely helps the experience. And speaking of the experience, if you can see it in IMAX, I highly recommend it. I saw it in IMAX. It was phenomenal. Anyway, that's it for now. I will be back next week with X-Men Days of Future Past. We'll see how that one goes. See you then. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. I'm a monster.